Here's our next example, a little bit different because uh, on this one, as you can see, we have two radicals in our denominator, but we're going to do the exact same thing. So to rationalize our denominator, anytime you have a binomial, you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. The denominator is square root of 2 plus the square root of 3, so the conjugate will be the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3. Again, we're going to use the distributive property, so we're going to multiply 1 times both those, and we'll get the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3, and then the square root of 5 will multiply times both those also, and that will give us the uh, plus the square root of 10, and then minus the square root of 15. Alright, a bunch of fun stuff in my numerator, as you can see. Uh, in my denominator, I'm going to do the same stuff, so we'll multiply this times both of those. And that will give me the square root of 4, and then minus the square root of 6. Uh, we're going to take this and multiply it times both, so we'll get plus the square root of 6, and then minus the square root of 9. So we'll go through and see if we can't simplify a little bit, hopefully as you can see. Uh, those two things are opposite, so they'll cancel. The square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3. So we will get negative 1 on our denominator. It's not always negative 1. I know the last two examples we got the same thing. Uh, and then our numerator won't change in this case. And then just like the last one, we're actually going to take the denominator and divide it into each of the terms. So our final answer will be negative square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 uh, minus the square root of 10 and then plus the square root of 15. So it looks pretty crazy and big, but that's how you get the radical out of the denominator.